Hello Cancer, I hope you're doing great wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cancer, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in your very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer, for cancer's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer in their life. And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Cancer. This one wants to show up as extra message. Mm, this is you very closed off emotionally towards your soulmate at this time feeling like you're gonna have to communicate with them sooner or later to clear the air with them. You are anticipating communication with your soulmate. You feel it's gonna happen, yeah. You are very, oh, you're so heartbroken. I'm sorry you're going through so much. One, two, three, three sorts heartbreak, but you're hiding that heartbreak really well, yeah. You don't show it on the outside, but you feel it deeply. You are highly disappointed in this relationship. You have been disappointed for a while in this connection between you two. Yeah, you want to really clear the air with them, but you're quiet. You are not reaching out to them. You're not mm, initiating this communication, even though you really want to clear the air with them. One, two, three, four swords now. This is you quiet not initiating communication, feeling betrayed, heartbroken. You're concentrating on yourself. Yeah, right now you're concentrating on your healing, your job, your business, your finances. Ooh, so you work with a group of people that are very challenging to you and others. Yeah, a lot of chaos, gossip, drama. This is you trying to not get involved to just focus on your job. Universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer in the life and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for cancer universe? <sighs> this was a serious relationship for you with that person. You thought of them highly, um, whether you were married, hoping to be married, uh, living together. This was a serious connection, not some kind of frivolous uh, dating. Yeah, you still love this person a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look how guarded you are. You're showing up twice as Queen of Swords. This one here, you're holding only one sword pointing down. Here, you're holding five swords pointing up and sideways, which means that you don't want to fight with your soulmate. You want clear communication, understanding. You don't want to feel any kind of animosity uh, towards them. Uh, but as far as your group of people at your job is concerned, this shows me that you're almost certain there's going to be some kind of argument brewing, like you're going to have to defend yourself, stand up for yourself again. You're beautiful. Whether you're male or female, you're showing up as beautiful energy, Highly vibrational, bringing profit in, very good worker, diligent, resourceful. Yeah, beautiful. They need you. Wherever it is you work, they need you. Universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer. If you have your own business, you have a lot of competition that is jealous, that wants to see you fail. You're not going to fail. No. Universe, please, whether you work for yourself or somebody else, you're not going to fail. Yeah. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for cancer? Yeah, communication, unexpected communication showing up here. You're waiting for this communication to happen. Yeah, but you're not reaching out. The sword is pointing down. You're not reaching out. You realize you still love this person though. Yeah, so you have jealousy towards you. Great level of jealousy towards you at your job. 
yeah jealousy so you know what that means when someone is jealous that means you're doing something right continue being passionate proactive yeah don't let negativity affect you from other people look how strong you are look how fabulous you are strength yeah strength of character inner strength yeah beautiful this is you loving yourself concentrating on yourself and not allowing other people with the negativity to affect you yeah this is you staying focused you know as we show us this is awesome cancer yeah universe we show us what's coming up for cancer how is cancer currently doing yeah you're trying to be patient with this group of people yeah and with your soulmate you don't want to argue fight you just want to be on peaceful grounds yeah it, it looks like you have to deal with them on a regular basis with these with this group of people yeah like you can't avoid them like you have to deal with them yeah, you're going within, you're trying not to get emotionally um, affected negatively, you're keeping to yourself, yeah, you're not allowing these people to drag you into drama or gossip. Yeah, you see, you always feel like you have to be on guard with them, like you always have to look over your shoulder, yeah. Oh boy, yeah, you're trying to figure out how to deal with them better. You're already dealing well with them. Yeah, you are. But they're draining your energy. You feel drained. You feel exhausted. Yeah. But yet you are so focused on what you do at your job. You see, they they, they really are into drama. Mm -hmm. You are so focused on what you do. That's excellent, Cancer. Keep being strong. Keep being fearless. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate you've been dealing with. The universe will show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer that cancer has been dealing with? And how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer? And how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally? You're doing so well for yourself. I'm proud of you, cancer. Yeah. Uh oh, they realize they lost you or are losing you. It looks like they lost you already. That's how they feel. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed. They feel like the world is upside down without you. Yeah, look how much guilt they feel over losing you. This is them feeling a lot of guilt, sadness, regret, heartbreak, having sleepless nights. Yeah. Some of them, and you would already know this, some of them have a karmic connection they end up they miserable and they're not happy and yet they're not leaving yeah if that's them you would know this already yeah this person loves you a lot but they don't really show that love they don't really express it verbalize it it's like they in and out in and out in and out of your life because they only showing up as a knight not a king or queen they miss you like crazy. So if you stop communicating or you tell them goodbye or both, this is how much they're missing you. Emotionally, especially because they're holding a cup here. So they're missing you so much. Let's see their subconscious position. They want to clear the air with you. They know they're going to have to reach out to you. They're going to be the ones to initiate communication with you because the sword is pointing up towards heavens. Let's see. Universe, please show us. They know. They would prefer you reach out to them. Don't get me wrong. But they need to be the ones reaching out to you. Extending the olive branch to you. Communicating with you. Initiating communication with you. Proving themselves to you. Yeah. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer? Yeah, you see? they right now quiet. Not really the... They have so much going on in their life that they need to figure out, address, uh, work on consistently. You see, they have a lot going on in their life that they need to address. Oh, they're so emotional when they think of you. They, they, their emotions are everywhere. They're going through a lot of emotional highs and lows. Yeah, this person's going through a lot emotionally. Yeah, look at this. 
If you think they're not missing you, look at this. All those swords in the back. You see this? This is how they feel about losing you, missing you. Hmm. They have a lot of issues to address in their life, to fix their life. Yeah. To put their life in order because their life is chaotic. Yeah. And they need to figure out how to work through this chaos to be able to live in harmony with themselves even yeah they're going through a lot yeah this person's in love with you so they had to lose you to realize that finally yeah this person totally loves you but they need to show that love right yeah and they have very deep attraction for you very deep attraction passion for you and love for you mm -hmm. Ooh. so you see this yeah, so this person has a lot to address in their life. Yeah, there's a lot that they need to address. They are in some kind of toxic situation. I would call it karmic situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they realize that you're not going to come back to them, that they need to earn you back. For you to come back to them, they need to earn you. And they can't earn you with just words, promises, right? They need to earn you actions that are consistent in your life right actions that are believable trustworthy yeah so when people talk these days and just give you promises you really have to take it with a grain of salt yeah uh, we have to ultimately go by people's actions right not their words yeah universe please show us hmm What's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer? This person loves you a lot. Yeah, they do. Yeah, this is them hoping, praying, wishing, you see? That something positive will transpire. Yeah, communication, unexpected communication showing up here. Ooh, the worst card in the whole deck, Three of Swords, Heartbreak. This person's absolutely devastated over losing you but they hide their feelings well so if you were to look at them from the outside you would think they're doing just fine without you no you see this they hide their heartbreak really well for those of them that are in karmic connection with somebody else they are miserable in that connection they need to leave it looks like whoever it is that's with them is not faithful to them you see this yeah so there's a lot of drawn this person knows already it's not like they don't know they know but yet they're not leaving i don't know why yeah yeah you see they're so emotionally unfulfilled unhappy with the current situation the state of affairs and with the situation with you you see this is them feeling that in order to change their life for the better and be emotionally fulfilled they need to walk away from some kind of situation they very unhappy with both of you are um, very connected emotionally spiritually from past lifetimes you guys love each other yeah but they need to make some significant changes right yeah be able to meet you halfway cancer i wish you all the best sending you lots of love and light and i will talk to you next time